today uh, we will introduce a new phrase which uh, is very frequently used in presentation and composition actually and which suits, which gels with other uh, syllables very easily and it has been traditionally used uh, for many centuries and that gives a uh, place or uh, room for uh, development of so many other phrases uh, with additions and deletions. Let's see that. What, what, what is the other syllable for five that we have? Two accents, but we only have one accent here. Daddy Gina, Daddy Gina, Daddy Gina, Daddy Gina, Daddy Gina, Daddy Gina. Right, so you don't know when you recite this, you don't go, Daddy Gina, Daddy Gina. Because you may as well say, Daddy Gina. Okay, so it really it's good for outlining um, groupings of five. You can also call it, you know, it's a unique uh, number, unlike uh, this one which is born out of uh, existing numbers. It's a combination of two and three. Here this is a five, a whole number on its own, a number of, a phrase of its own origin. Yeah. So let's just, let's very slowly go through that um, and recite it. And uh, what we'll do is we'll introduce a new counting uh, for five. So when you have more than four, we did four, two, Three, four. Anyone want to guess what you do for five? Yes. Add the next finger. Okay, that's that's all it is. So one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Let's recite this. A, D, K, Na, Dum. A, D, K, Na, Dum. A, D, K, Na. Okay, good. Now what, what time signature would that relate to Western? By four. Okay. How many sixteenth notes are in the uh, by four bar? Twenty. Five times four. <laughs> okay, 20. All right, anyway. Okay, now, the reason why this is so popular um, and the, the concept we want to introduce today is something that we've come up with, um, we haven't come up with it, but we've, we've called it an adding value concept. So, the way that we derive 6, 7, 8, and 9 from this is adding different values to each of the syllables. So let me show you number, I'll show you six, for example. When you say adding value, the value can be added in two forms. One, adding a syllable. The other, adding a rest. So yes. the, the syllable can be added anywhere because uh, you're not going to uh, change the form just adds the uh, length of the phrase. But when you add the rest, it has to be logical. You cannot put the rest anywhere you want it and uh, um, make a different structure. Because it has to be symmetrical, it has to look nice, it has to uh, be impressive. So there are restrictions in adding value in the form of rest, but not in the form of adding uh, so now, this is an example of adding a value. Yeah. So this one, basically what we've done is we've, we've put another rest in here, or you can think of this, extended this for two beats. That's why I put a little two there. OK, so we've got daddy, gina, daddy, gina, daddy, gina, daddy, gina. Try that together, all clapping together. So if 
your if you have in a triplet field you have Okay? And this is born from this from this phrase. So for seven we add another rest. Yes? Another rest. And the most common common place to add a rest for this one is on the next syllable after D. So key. So essentially you can look at it like this, broken down as grouping a two, grouping a two, and a grouping a three. Da di kina, da di kina, da di kina, da di kina, da. Okay, so it's stretching it out even more. Okay, now we're making it into grouping a seven. So what you can't do with this system is you can't go kina dum da di and flip it around or flip around the syllables. This must retain its shape. The thing to remember about this particular one is um, all the other notes are all off the B. And this one, Ta, is the only one on the B. If you look at what we just practiced, Ta, Ti, Ki, Na, Tum. 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 Ta, Ti, Ki, La tum ta ti ki la tum ta ti ki la tum ta ti ki la tum ta. Yeah, everyone clear about that? What about seven? Seven? What depends on the context? Da da ti ki na tum da ti ki na tum da. So anything and anything in odd numbers. If you're saying it in eighth notes, one, and two, and three, and four, and five. first time is going to be on the beat with the ta. Second time is going to be off the beat. So the count for seven, as you might have guessed, is one, two, three, four, five, six. Back to the pinky seven. Ta, ta, ti, ki, na, dum, da, ti, ki, na, dum, da, ti, ki, na, dum, da, ti. The last one, which is a, a very common one, is grouping for nine. Okay, nine, as you may have may have guessed, is you just keep counting around. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Da di ki na dum da di ki na dum da di ki na dum da di ki na dum. So a little something that that can help you when you when you're dealing with rests. Okay, rests. Of course, you're not meant to. Play anything, but when you're when you're when you're reciting solfa to what you can do sometimes is to just extend the last syllable. So just a little bit. So you can think of it like ta, and then di, ki, na, and then do. Da, di, ki, na, dum, da, di, 